After a man sitting near the roadway was hit and killed last week, Springfield police are stepping up enforcement of the city's pedestrian safety ordinance. Officers will now get paid overtime to patrol parts of this city that see more foot traffic. Color 10's Carissa Codell joins us live from one of those intersections after speaking with Springfield, Springfield's police chief about this new approach. Carissa. Yeah, I'm here at Glenstone and Battlefield, which is one of those intersections that was mentioned specifically today. Now, the chief tells me recent tragedies like the death of Todd Tennyson could have been prevented if these patrols started earlier. We have way too many traffic fatalities, way too many pedestrian fatalities in town, and a lot of us due to distraction. There are 61 vacancies on the Springfield Police Force, meaning the department is saving money on its payroll. With those extra funds, SPD will soon begin paying officers overtime to conduct these proactive patrols. The ordinance is specifically titled Pedestrian Safety Ordinance. That's exactly what it is. It's to keep people safe uh, and to prevent some things that created danger to the uh, driving public and pedestrians. The ordinance was passed back in 2017. It prohibits jaywalking and pedestrians standing on medians. Council Bill 2017-282 passes. In the past, it's always been up to officers' discretion on whether or not to ticket someone. This effort will remove that discretion. You encounter someone, they're going to ticket if they're a first-time offender. Now, if they've been ticketed two or three or four times in the past, they're going to go to jail. Drivers who stop and engage can also be fined or arrested. I can't emphasize enough the, the driving public, if, if they would not engage or participate or... Uh, respond to requests for uh, anything from someone standing on the side of the road, it would make our, our, uh, our job a whole lot easier and, and create less of a problem. The chief says the department is not targeting the homeless or panhandlers. The law can also apply to protesters standing in the roadway or medians. The concept of somebody being homeless doesn't really factor into this at all. Being homeless is not a crime. And police will begin these patrols next week, and it is considered a short-term solution. Now, again, this is volunteer-based, so if no officers sign up for that extra overtime, then there will be no extra patrols. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Carissa Codell, Color 10 News.